Hi everybody, there are something that experts do to their house plant but you don't and it's the reason why their plants look so happy and healthy and why your plant are not. Come with me to find out how you can make your plants happy. Plant experts know everything about their plants. It's one of the main reasons why they have such success with their plants. Trying to care for a plant without knowing anything about it would be like trying to cook dinner in the dark. You wouldn't have a clue. What you were doing researching your plant will tell you whether it needs. Full sound like a dear plant or be kept out of direct light like different backyard. Or it needs moist soil or kept on the dry side like most succulent. Use Google Lens to identify your plants through pictures to get a full understanding of the care requirements. Water the house plant when the plant need it. Plants vary their water needs over the season. Maybe plants need less water than you might think it. Always pays to check the level of moisture in the soil of the plant before watering. So before watering your plant, just stick your finger 2 inches into the soil of the plant and if the soil feels wet, leave it another few days and check again. If you are repeatedly watering your plant when it already has enough water, you are over watering your plant and this will lead to root right on the plant and probably plant this. It can be a real house plant killer. Plant experts monitor to keep their plant healthy. Spider mites and other sap sucking insects damage the leaves of the plant. And if left unchecked, can kill a plant. I do talk about this more in my pest playlist that you can check out after this video. Plant experts avoid putting their plant in full afternoon. Tropical plants are sensitive and will burn when put in the sun. Some fading of color that you have on a west or south facing window sill, and this is actually the plant's foliage burning from the sun. To having hours of direct sun beaming on them, they will become very unhappy unless they are succulent. Keep your plants only in direct sunlight. I have found that morning sun is okay for most house plants. Of course, it really depends on where you live. Get rid of damaged leaf and stem and keep the plant free of mold and pests with correct pruning. Plant with damaged leaves will be far more likely to develop problems than a plant that is trimmed and looking neat. Tiny pruning encourages stronger growth. For example, if you cut a stem of a plant, two new shoots will sprout where we made the cut. And if we repeat this, we end up with a really bushy plant with a nice thick trunk. This pruning trick will work for most house plants. Where is a stem that leaves grow out from such as Potus, Monstera, and Tadiscantis. So don't be scared to make cuts on the plant. The stem will grow back. Soil composition is a key for a healthy plant, so change the soil of your plant at least yearly. Repotting into a bigger pot prevents your plant from becoming root bone. If root plant will not have enough soil in the pot to draw up water and nutrients, it will begin to look tired with yellow or brown leaves. The second benefit is that you are changing the soil of your plant regularly, gives the plant a boost in nutrients that allow the plant to push out lots of fresh new growths. Anyway, your plant soil loses without beneficial bacteria and nutrients for the plant, so it's important that we change the soil critically to keep it fresh and alive. Clean plants live with a damp clothes. One of the biggest reasons why you should keep your plant clean is because dirty and dusty leaves can lead to health problem for your plant. Plant leaves actually have pores on them, a lot like your skin. Dirt, dust and mud on the leaves of your plants can block sunlight and slow the process of photosynthesis. This can slow the growth of your house plant and could result in stress for your plant. If you really want to boost the growth of your plant with beautiful thick glossy growths, consider turning your kitchen scrap into free plant foods. If you boil it morning for breakfast, the water you use will be filled with calcium that will do wonder for your plant, so don't throw it out. After it cools down, use the water when your plants need to be watered. The great thing here is that you are giving your plant nutrients without the risk of over fertilizing your plants and burning the root because you are using an entirely natural homemade fertilizer rather than giving your plant the harsh chemical found in commercial inorganic fertilizer. Hope to enjoy and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next green plant guide video.